Uh, isn't it beautiful? What's up guys? Probably you may know this laptop because this is Lenovo L430. I create bunch of videos about Tiny11 Windows 11 using this device and actually it was very helpful. But you know, things change because I bought this little monster. I will show you. As you can see, this is Dell Latitude Laptop E5491. Today I will compare my old Lenovo ThinkPad laptop and Dell Latitude E5491, the new one. So actually Lenovo ThinkPad L430 is since 2013 and it's a great laptop. As you can see, it has reliable materials, it has nice hinges, it has even USB 3.0 port and that's impressive. As you can see, it has reliable hinges, nice speakers and probably one of the best keyboard on the planet. And that's true because Lenovo ThinkPad laptops has one of the best keyboard. Also, this laptop has matte screen with HD resolution and TN matrix. By the way, I added video in Adobe Premiere Pro on this machine and yes that's for real so this laptop has a lot of advantages it has intel core i3 m processor which really gives not bad performance not bad at all i mean better than u processor actually i like this laptop because i created bunch of videos some of them get thousand views and that's all thanks to this machine but the thing is newer programs utilities, applications, for example, Android Studio, have high system requirements. And that's the reason why I bought this laptop. Of course, thanks to my viewer and probably subscriber, Brian. He's from the United States, I'm from Ukraine. So literally, Ukraine, USA, friendship. In my opinion, this laptop is a workstation because it has Intel Core i5 processor of 8 generation and listen, it's H processor. For the example, it is much faster than Intel Core i7 processor of 10 generation. Of course, only if we're talking about U processors, which have low TDP. And completely to be honest, if you run some powerful application or game, it hit up a lot. In short, about the specs, it has 16GB of RAM DDR4 with 2400MHz frequency, SSD M2 drive good RAM, Full HD IPS matrix 14 inch, also nice keyboard and it looks good as well as me. Probably the biggest benefit of this laptop is CPU but also it has nice GPU. I'm talking about NVIDIA GeForce MX130. Yes, this video card has fast type of memory GDDR5. Here we have fast USB port 3.1, USB-C, one more fast USB port, HDMI. Also we have place to insert SIM card, which means we can use 4G. But that's only if you previously installed 4G adapter. Actually, I don't have 4G adapter, but that's not a deal breaker. Also, we have a port for LAN, VGA, one more USB port, and headphone jack. Now I'm going to test these laptops in popular benchmarks. CPU-Z, AIDA64, and Signbench R15. I'm doing this just to show you the difference in performance. So. Let's get it started. So fellas, let's get into it. This is Dell E5491 laptop and the old one, L430. The first test was CPU Queen. And Dell E5491 scored 49,129 points. Actually, that's pretty good. As you can see, Ryzen 5 2400G scored the same. And let's take a close look to CPU Queen on Lenovo L430. And as you can see, it scored 16,897, which isn't bad for this laptop. Second benchmark was Insign Bench R15. And as you can see, Dell Latitude laptop scored 742 
points. On the other side, Intel Core i3 processor and processor of third generation scored 208 points. As I previously said, here you may see Intel Core i5 processor of third generation, U processor, and actually they have the same result. So take a close look. In the CPU-Z, Intel Core i5 processor hit 474 points on a single core and 2280 points on the multi-cores. As you can see, the result is quite similar to Intel Core i7 processor of 6th generation. Actually, my processor used in laptops and the second one in PCs. So you can take conclusions for yourself. And if we take a close look on Intel Core i3 processor of 3rd generation, you may see that it hit 290 point on a single core and 575 point on multi-core. I want to remind you that this laptop has only 2 cores and 4 threads. On the other side, this laptop has 4 cores and 8 threads. Obviously, this laptop showing much better result. So guys, if this video was useful for you, please like it. And also, I recommend to watch video about another Dell Latitude laptop. I'm not joking.